Call hello Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shemir Kakwadash. First and foremost, I want to give our honors and salutations out to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, uh, bringing out this truth with 144% diligence, um, uh, with truth and sincerity. And unto you, I want to say Shalom. And also to the Akim and Akwat that are out here pushing this truth um, with all sincerity, uh, listening and learning. And unto you, I want to say Shalom as well. Um, all right. Um, now, this lesson um, today um, is the judgment has been set. Um, the silent wars have been declared. Repent now. All right. Now, this lesson is based on a report from a well-known whistleblower by the name of Deborah uh, Traveras. All right. Now, you can subscribe to her YouTube channel, which is called um, Stop the Crime, uh, for the full video report. Now, it's a bit lengthy. Um, roughly, I want to say about an hour or so, but I'm going to play some of the video um, and pull some scriptures and precepts as we go. All right, so this lesson shouldn't be too long, but I ask that you pay close attention to what's being revealed as this woman is very informed on what the plans are being implemented into our society, all right, as well as what's to come. All right, now, so I want to start off with a scripture, um, which is um, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, all right? So that man of sin, the son of perdition, is being revealed on a daily with the prophets that are out here, all right, along with the plans and their endeavors of world domination, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into the lesson here. I'm going to go ahead and let her speak. This is Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net. Be certain as you hear what is going to be broadcast today that you subscribe to our YouTube video channel and also tap the bell notification so you are notified whenever we post a new video or send out email blast outs. Most significant now because we are certainly in a massive battlefield and we're keeping everyone apprised as to what is happening uh, at various locations, not only in the United States, but across the world. I am the guest host for Pastor Butch today, and I certainly will underscore that this is war, and we're on a battlefield. In fact, this is total war, and no prisoners are going to be taken. No prisoners will be taken. All humans and our animals are to be murdered by the cabal using all its weapons of war against us. Silent, electronic, bio, and kinesthetic. This is an attack on all fronts, mind, body, economic, vocational, family, food, water, electricity, sanitation, with very powerful attacks by pulsed beam, electromagnetic frequencies and scalar waves, as well as ELF, which is extremely low frequencies. We've been talking about this for years. All right. So there it is. All right. Just like the prophets who've been out here, man. All right. Warning the people, all right, to come back to this truth, to prepare for what's coming. All right. The day of judgment is nigh. The Heavenly Father is bringing destruction onto Babylon, man, by the way of the sword, which is the Edomites. All right. Which are the top elites, you know, the international bankers, the cabal. Now, Unfortunately, when it comes to warning our people Israel, the truth has to come from the enemy in order for it to take effect. All right. Now, I don't I don't know for sure or for certain if this woman is a Jake or not. You know, her spirit says otherwise, but I could be wrong. All right. But in either case, a judgment has been set. All right. And the principalities of this world are now being pushed, um, are now pushing their agenda, you know, uh, in full force. All right. So the time for going out and kicking it. You know, uh, happy hours and making plans to vacation and all that, enjoying the spoils of Babylon. All that is coming to a full heart, man. All right? Because the Heavenly Father is getting ready to purge on his people here. All right? He's getting ready to turn Esau loose, going in full throttle. All right? To do the work on the left-hand side. Right? And this is what the fishermen have been out here doing, man. You know, we've been out here doing the work. You know, blowing the trumpet, exposing these devils. All right? And you get Jake's out here that keep talking about buying guns and all that. Man, you... <laughs> You really have no clue of the devices that these devils have created through the power of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side, man. So, I mean, in actuality, what's, what's a gun going to do? I mean, yeah, it can, it can get you out of certain situations, but will it save you or give you salvation? Of course not, all right? So you have to understand these damn devils were blessed with the sword, which is the gifts of death, deception, and destruction, all right? And this is coming on a global scale, man, all right? So this brings me to um, Joel 1.15. Um, at last for the day... For the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. All right? 
So this is the time that we're in right now, all right? The coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is at hand. And any Jakes out here without this oil, man, you're going to be in other darkness, all right? The elect men of the Lord will have our, our oil full and our lamps lit, all right? Because there's going to be absolutely no way to see in this darkness that's coming, all right? So you niggas are not going to know what hits y'all, man. And that's just truth, man, all right? Let's continue. Chemical attacks are also comprised from the CIA and was developed, they developed a gay bomb, an endocrine disruptor to neutralize sexual differences and destroy male and female sex roles and disrupt reproduction. We are seeing and witnessing this now. Massive chemtrails have been dispersing millions of pounds of barium and nanoaluminum, which work with the EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, from satellites and cell phone towers, which kill our crops, destroy forests, and make them more incendiary, and cause large increases in early onset dementia, and strange memory and brain dysfunctions, like an inability to express thoughts into words appropriately. I've covered this in many videos on StopTheCrime.net. All right. So, yes. Yeah, so right now, this is just some of the weapons, you know, that um, Esau has, uh, you know, in store, you know, that he's basically, you know, uh, setting up for use like um, like the 5G towers. All right. Um, the 5G is basically a pulse wave um, weapon that was used in a war. OK. And the 5G towers that are placed all around the world today work with the iodine molecules and the oxygen molecules that are in the air um, through the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. All right. Which everyone carries on their person each and every day, man. Right. So in turn, what this can do is give you or mimic any plethora of diseases, man, respiratory and mental issues, you know, uh, physical dysfunctions, etc. All right. Now, there are over, I want to say, like roughly 2000 publications that you can find online, you know, of death causing symptoms from 5G radiation poisoning, which is basically a highly effective silent weapon. All right. Like she said, this is why everyone should purchase an EMF detector, you know, to keep in your house and in your car. So you're able to measure the amounts of radiation poisoning um, you're being exposed to. All right. Now, these towers are set up in and around our schools, you know, cruise ships, malls, sports arenas, all public places around the earth, man. And especially where pe people are gathered in large numbers. All right. So this is just one of the weapons um, that Esau is using for their mass genocide uh, agenda. Uh, which in reality <laughs> is really the most highest depopulation agenda, all right? Because we have to remember Esau was the prince of the power of the air, right? As a matter of fact, we can go ahead and go ahead and get that in Ephesians 2, 1 and 2. Um, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin, where in past time ye walked according to the course of this world, this wicked world we're in now, according to the prince of the power of the air, all right, the airwaves, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Now, who are the children of disobedience? Is that scripture talking about? Esau, Edom. That's who that's talking about, right? All right, so they are the princes of the power of the airwaves. Airwaves meaning the sonic waves, the pulse, the pulse wave weapons, the 5G, the satellites, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, all weaponized, right? So let's go ahead and continue, man. Just keep that in mind. Please look at our former videos. This cabal is having COVID-19 sprayed on oranges in Florida and produced in certain areas at night and activated by remote inductive electronics as well as catalytic viruses and activating chemtrails flashed by EMF, electromagnetic frequencies. Uh -huh. In fact, we've talked about the Deagle.com website, which is an interactive website of the ratio of murders throughout the various developed countries and worldwide. And we have to know and understand that the Deagle.com is accurate in its predictions. It can predict human death depopulation figures because it uses advanced predictive quantum computers and the looking glass. And they are likely closely connected to those that run the entire worldwide satanic control network. So I've, I've just summarized what many of my videos have been telling you. Wow. Okay. All right. So just as we says, you know, Job 924, the world was given into the hands of the wicked, which is Esau. Okay. And now for those of you who don't know, 
um, the um, Looking Glass project is basically it's a it's a project that was created initially using like um, a Java program, right? Now this technology was used many times in the past by highly decorated uh, military officials to cheat and win wars. Now how it works is you um, you basically uh, input or implement um, a hypothetical war scenario, right? Uh, and when looking through this program, you're able to see exactly how this scenario will play out in the future in real time, all right? And this prop and this process is then repeated over and over again using different scenarios, right? Um, in order to um, to achieve the um, the ideal outcome, all right? Kind of like that movie um, uh, that Tom Cruise was in. I want to say what was it called? Uh, uh, the Edge of The Edge of Tomorrow. All right, where he played this military officer who was who was made to serve uh, front line in a war where they were fighting aliens, right? And while on the battlefield, he he killed this alien, but the alien's blood like spilt on him, right? Um, and he died, but he kept coming back, reliving the same scenario over and over again until he was able to see the outcome each time, and he changed it in real time in order to win the war. All right, so Esau does this all the time in his movies. Like I said, he puts his prophecies in his movies, right? Uh, where ours are written in the Book of the Law. All right. Now, I believe me personally that this same program was used uh, before the first wave of COVID-19 man. All right. as a test to confirm the outcome of the pandemic using Project Looking Glass. All right. This is why uh, when you see these wicked ass devils, man, Bill and Melinda Gates, uh, who were interviewed, I want to say a couple of weeks ago, and they were saying with excitement, smiling and shit, I might add that um, this next COVID-19 wave coming this fall will surely get the attention. Um, I quote and end quote. All right, so this is why, you know, this is how truly dumbed down the people are today, man. I mean, just ask yourself, how can how can someone predict exactly how and when a pandemic is coming and the severity of it, all right, unless they are the ones creating it and putting it out? How can that be done? All right, just 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 think about that, man. I'm gonna let this continue. In small bites, and I'm going to go over some of the psychotronic and acoustic weapons systems and projectors you need to understand these are all u.s patents and we have been attacked we are the enemy and we're under mass attack the global population is under mass attack we've talked about silent weapons for quiet wars for years we are being attacked by silent weapons for quiet wars system i want to add right now all of you keep your eyes open. Mercenaries are being sent into our communities to be activated upon command mm -hmm. to cause increased chaos at night. Remember, John F. Kennedy warned us, guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. We are seeing that here in Northern California. And it looks like unusual uh, campers uh, positioned in different places, moving from time to time just to change their location. Understand the level of attacks planned in our neighborhoods. This is absolutely paramount to understand. Before I... Con, con. Now, again, um, this is why the men of the Lord, you know, we say, you know, this this hegemony of protection from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the only way out, man, for what's coming, all right? Coming back to the Heavenly Father, reading, studying to show thyself approved, doing the work, you know, meditating in this secret place, you know. This is what's going to be our shield, man, and our armor and our protection for what's coming because there is no other way. You know, y'all have to understand that. You know, as a matter of fact, let's go to Psalms 91.6. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. Now, we know the secret place is these scriptures, Right. Given unto the men of the Lord, because Amos 3 7 says the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his servants, which are the prophets. All right. And this is why Ephesians 6 says, We boldly open our mouth and make known the mysteries of the gospel. All right. Because Esau is going to break through like a flood, man. Like the scripture said, like a madman sparing none, man. All right. And without this knowledge, you Jakes are going to be sitting ducks out here, man. All right. Which brings me to, um, I want to say, uh, uh, Revelations, uh, first chapter, first, uh, Revelations 1 3. Uh, blesses it he bless bless is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are therein for the time is at hand and this is exactly where we are right the time is at hand man all right the evil day is here man the time is up okay psalms 1 uh, 91 2 and i say the lord he is my refuge my fortress my power in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler, 
all right, and from the noisome and the, the pestilence. Right? So we know who the snares of the followers, the traps are for, are from, you know, they're from the wicked, all right? So we can see his plans, man, laid out right here in plain English, all right? And this is why the Most High is putting the spirit on their own people, all right, to bring out their, bland, their plans to light, man. That's why scripture says a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And this kingdom has definitely been divided, man, all right? And we see this on a global scale right now, right? Uh, Psalms uh, 91 4 he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth and shall be thy shield and thy buckler thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night all right nor for the arrows that flyeth by day which are the ICBM missiles nor for the pestilence that worketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday right because all this hell is getting ready to break loose out here man in America all right so this is what we got to understand all right Let's get back to it. I get into the various patents that have been used on us and formulated to be used on us. I want to go over some of the headlines today where they're talking about the neurochip mm. uh, will stream music directly like into our brain. Well, they've been doing this to targeted individuals and much more sinister and torturous directed energy weapons used on targets. And we'll discuss that in a moment. Wow. Okay. So there it is. So, so for those of you who don't know, the, the neurochip she's talking about is the microchip, all right, that goes into the forehead, all right, which is the mark of the beast in the Revelations, the 13th chapter, all right? Um, and this was created by that wicked ass Enemite, what's his name? Um, Elon Musk and his Neuralink technology, all right? Matter of fact, let's just pull the scripture. Uh, Revelations 13, 16, all right? And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? Now, the word mark identified um, in the Greek, uh, uh, it's a Greek word in the Strong's Concordance is 5480 and or 5481, uh, which is karagma, all right, uh, or karacha, meaning engraving an engraving instrument to put an incision in the flesh or the skin for a mark. All right. And this is not to be confused with Ezekiel 9, 4, set a mark on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. All right. Which is Hebrews 84, 20, which is Tav, meaning a sign of exemption from judgment. OK, again, so this is why we say it's really important to research the words because you have no idea how many definitions one word can hold, man. All right. And this is what the Bible speaks of in parables. Right. Because they're a stumbling block if you're not learned. OK. Now, as we said before, these prophecies are falling off the pages at this point, man. All right. The most high speeding their time up. And for those you've already noticed, which I'm sure you have, these weeks are just flying by lately. Right. All right. 2021 is just around the corner. All right. It's crazy. All right. And this is why the scripture says for the elect's sake, um, the day shall be shortened. And this is what's happening right now, because this is the time that we're moving into, man. We're moving into Jacob's trouble. All right. So this is why we have to be circumspect and we have to watch. All right, pay attention to what's going on and stay sober. All right, let's continue. They also talk about um, Colombian president calls for a multilateral COVID solution. Well, I can tell you here in California, they are looking at fines and penalties uh, for anybody that does not wear a mask. Uh, fines ranging from $100 to $500, possibly imprisonment. If you are open and you are a business, you can be fined $5,000. The Hi, I'm Brad Cohen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can quickly so and easily create doodle videos, just like the, the clamp is coming down on all of us. We can no longer continue to talk about what is happening. You all need to take individual direct action God. for your own safety and security. And I would certainly recommend that each and every single one of you watch your children carefully. Certainly we know that sandwiched between all of this is the theft and trafficking of our children and other people as well. So form family members at least of accountability. Not that they will know or agree with what you think, but just to check in, to look out after one another. Con, right. And that brings me to Ephesians 6, 11, all right? Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places, right? So what's principalities? What's that? All right, that's um, in strong concordance, that's G, 
746, uh, pronounced Akra, uh, rulers of angels and demons. All right. Now, the, now those are who the hands um, this world was given into. All right. And the war has been declared on us, man. Now silent, but soon to be blatant, all out chaos and anarchy on a global scale out here, man. All right. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and, on, and your feet sod with the preparations of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, whether ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word, which is the word of Yahweh, right praising always with prayer praising always with all prayer and supplications in spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that utterance is the gift of the prophecy right that i may open my mouth boldly and make known the mysteries of the gospel for which i am an ambassador and bonds that there and i may speak boldly as i ought to speak right all right an ambassador of bonds, meaning basically like a teacher or, or, or a representative of this word, because like the scripture says, we are prisoners in the hope of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So we are in bonds to him. All right. Abiding by this order to warn the people. All right. Let's get some more. We're hearing too today that Mar Barcelona, Spain is now back on lockdown. That is being discussed here in California as well. And this will happen because they say COVID is for life. Wow. Now y'all heard that. See, now this is for life. So for those of us that know this truth, we rejoice knowing that this, that our kingdom is at hand, man. All right. This is an exciting times. But for those of you that think otherwise, now, you know, you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. We are never going back to the way it was, man. All right. From here on out, it's all out war. Defcon war, man. Or Defcon 4, you know, which brings me to a uh, revelations 12, 12. Um, um, and this is why, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell there in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he hath but a short time, all right? Because Esau knows his time is up, man, all right? Just like Second Edges, uh, on uh, six chapter says, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, all right? So right now we are witnessing his end and preparing for our beginning. All right. This is why we must armor up out here as the children of Israel, man, and come back to this truth, man. All right. Let's continue. They talk about how isolating the elderly is bad for their health. Well, of course, it shortens their lives. People do not do well in isolation. In fact, it's torture. In prison, they put you in solitary confinement. That is a, a form of torture. We are being tortured. We're wearing masks that are certainly causing uh, blackouts and people to have heat strokes. And we are being told we must wear these. I know of people that have had heat strokes. They can't breathe very well. They're lightheaded. They don't feel good. Well, this is the intention hmm. of this cabal hmm. upon all of us. We're watching unusual happenings now in Portland, Oregon, wherein we're seeing mercenaries sent in by the federal governments with unmarked uniforms and um, undercover uh, mercenaries in crowds, just as what was told us in France with the yellow vest attacks. These people are being picked up in unidentified vehicles, mm -hmm. many of the protesters, and taken away. So that's just some of the current news. Of course, there's much more. We're in a greater degree of lockdown here in Northern California, Southern California more so, because they say that the degree of new cases has increased. Well, we know that uh, COVID is not as being described. It doesn't infect as we are being told. And I hope that all of you will go to stopthecrime.net. Please go to our video YouTube channel and look at some of our latest postings. They are critical if you wish to survive. If you wish to survive, you know. Shalom and welcome to Israel Institute of Biblical Studies, so like located you. not far it's away from where man. most now must understand that the time is now there is no turning point the midnight hour is now past so i'm going to go over bam and there it is and she's absolutely correct all right COVID does not work in the way we're being told man 
But you simple-minded ass people refuse to do the research, man. It blows me away. All right, that's just pure fucking laziness, man. All right, these devils are natural born liars, man, who spread nothing but propaganda, fear, and lies through their sorcery. All right, which is the television and the news media outlets, man. All right, we're gonna go to Psalm 58, 3 and 5. The wicked are estranged from the womb, okay? They go astray soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like a deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. And an adder is, is basically just a poisonous snake, right? Uh, which shall not hearken unto the voice of the charmers, charming never so wisely. Right, and the charmers are the men of the Lord out here bringing out this truth. They don't want to hear it, all right? This is because of wicked, the wicked, they cannot do righteously, man. They are the wicked by nature, all right? This is their role. This is their lot, created to be the wicked, all right? Which brings me to Jeremiah 13, 23. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard change his spots? Then yea, me also, then, then may ye... Also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Hell no. You know they can. They cannot. All right. Which is Habakkuk 2, 4, and 5. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in him is not upright. All right. Yeah, because he transgresses by wine, by all his laws, you know, by his political system, you know, and all that. Who larges his desire as hell and who, and who is as death and cannot be satisfied. But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. All right? And this is who the wicked are. And what for? For the new world order. Let's continue. Over some of the forms of psychotronic weapons that are being used on us today. And I want to give my appreciation for this information to a number of people. One of which is Dr. Preston Bailey. And uh, with that, I want to tell you what is now happening to all of us based on the um, patents that have been adopted in the United States and abroad. Mm. They talk about psychoacoustic projectors, and it's a UN U.S. patent, 3566347, dated February 23rd of 1971, a device weapon which can actually deafen the target. Another one, silent subliminal messages, U.S. Patent 5159706, October 27th of 1992. They talk about extreme audio frequency ranges are amplified and modulated with desired material and propagated acoustically for desired inducement into the brain. This is an excellent method of influencing people without their knowledge and is used in advertising. Well, let's talk about that. On StopTheCrime.net, we have an Aquarius Operations briefing that was given to us by a whistleblower. Mm. People now can be psychotronically induced to commit murder. Wow. We're going to see increased events of psychotronic inducement of people on the streets that are too close to all of the wireless and the targeting and the and the directed energy weapons. We're going to watch this happen. So prepare yourself, all of you prepare yourself for madness beyond your understanding for most of you. Let's talk. Wow. All right. Now, what she's talking about with being psycho, uh, 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 trying to induce um, is seen in that movie uh, The Kingsman uh, for any of you that are familiar with, uh, with that where um, the main actor where he started they he went into this church and they start killing uh, one another and then he even mentions afterwards when he came out he don't know what happened uh, all he knew is that he wanted to kill all these people right so this technology is real man okay and it's being used right now all right and ironically it's funny this is some of the same stuff that a lot of these mass shooters have been saying in the past when they're caught they all say the same thing we've heard voices in our head telling us to do it you know we heard the voice of god or demons all right see this is why these motherfuckers got to go man all right they sit in these high places and they wreak havoc on the inhabitants of the inhabitants of the world man for pure excitement all right now i advise y'all you know to to um, do some research on these patents, man, you know, to see what she's talking about. You know, I've done some actually myself. Um, the U.S. Uh, US patent 3566347, uh, February 23rd, 1971. Psychoacoustic projector. Broadly, this disclosure is directed to a, sens uh, a system for producing a rural psychological disturbances and partial deafness of the enemy during combat situations. Essentially, a high directional beam is radiated from a plurality 
of distinct transducers and is modulated by a noise, code, or speech beat signal. Wow. So this is what they've been using forever, man. And this is what they're starting to use to turn on the public. All right. The other one is the subliminal messaging. Uh, U.S. Patent 5159706, October 27th, 1992. Sub silent subliminal presentation system. A silent communication system in which a non oral carriers in a very low or very high audio frequency range or in an adjacent ultrasonic frequency spectrum are amplitude or frequency modulated with the desired intelligence and propagated acoustically or vibrationally for inducement into the brain, typically through the use of loudspeakers, earphones, or uh, 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 piezoelectric transducers. This modulated carriers may be transmitted directly in real time or may be conveniently recorded and stored mechanically, magnetically, or optional media for delayed or repeated transmission to the listener. Wow, man. All right. So we know that Esau's blessing was the sword, right? Which basically is any instrument of death. All right, but also um, I find very interesting. Genesis 27, 28. Therefore, Yahweh give thee of the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth. Now, it just so happens that the acronym for dew is direct energy weapons, all right? Devices that direct a beam for high energy content towards a target and incapacitating or destroying the target. The high energy beam being acoustic, sonic, infrasonic, or ultrasonic. Man, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. This is not a coincidence, man. The Bible does not lie. Man does, all right? So it brings me to Psalm 64, 1 and 6. Hear my voice, O, o, o Yahweh. And my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. For in his insurrections, for the insurrections of the workers of iniquity. All right. And that's what they are. The counsel of the wicked. All right. They are the workers of iniquity. All right. This is exactly who they are. All right. Who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot at, to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Right. Now, who are the perfect? The Israelites, man, it's us, you know, that are out here, the men of the Lord. You know, they constantly slander the Jakes, you know, in their news media and their outlets. This is what they do, right? They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They consume, they commune of lying snares privily. They say, who shall see, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both their inward thoughts and every one of them in their heart is deep, right? So these devils have been researching, man. They have been studying us for years. You understand? Our traits, our behaviors. They abduct our children, our, you know, our people in secret. They use us in high-level test studies, dissect our organs, man, to find out our weaknesses and our strength, doing all manners of wickedness to Jake, man. All right, so this is why you have to wake up, man, and see the war that's right outside your front door, man. All right, let's continue. Talk about the electromagnetic satellite technology. And this is a neuro phone, uh, U.S. patent 3393279, dated July the 16th of 1968. We have been set upon for decades, 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 decades. We are the enemy. We are being harvested, not mm. only for body parts, not only for adrenal chrome, mm. not only for sexual rings, that sell us for sex and our children, but for ritual satanic abuse. Gone. All right. Now, I heard of this actually a few times. All right. All right. Pertaining to the procedure set up by these FEMA camps, man. All right. What they do, what they're going to do is there's going to be a three part category. Some people will be used for their body parts, you know, usually the healthier, the athletic ones. Others will be used for sex slaves, man. All right. While the others will be used for satanic rituals, man, mainly our children. For the adrenochrome, all right? So these camps are set up and fully operational and ready to go, man. All right? So while you Jakes are out here lollygagging, man, you have no idea, man. They've been setting this up since Jade Helm 15, man, in 2015, man. I was in Miami, Florida when I saw all them tanks and everything rolling in here. And then soon after that, all these Walmarts start closing down. They ready. All right? So let's continue. And that is horrific. Also, the millions of targeted individuals all over the world have been being experimented on for 
decades with these kinds of weapons systems. As the majority of people go to work every day, go home, watch ball games, eat dinner, eat junk food, and ignore what is happening in the real world, we, don't, we have no more time to ignore. Hmm. And we're going to talk about some things you must do before the show is over hmm. today. But I want to go over electromagnetic satellite technology and the Neurophone, again patented in 1968. It's a device that converts sound to electrical impact pulses, sometimes referred to as the voice of God. You can type that in, voice of God. Uh, it makes a person think he is crazy when the signals are sent to the brain. Mm -hmm. It makes a person think that God is speaking or even an alien is speaking to them. It targets the unique bioelectrical resonance frequency using vibrational patterns in the brain called a signature, and it acts like an audio receiver. Con. Now, she's actually correct, man. I've done some research on this myself, and she's correct. Now, they have actually, um, they actually have four different samples of speech from the human artery cortex, right? Which is basically voice-recorded brainwave signals, counting from zero to nine using a vocoder, man. This, this technology is eerie as hell, man. All right, these devils are extremely crafty, man, in what they do. All right, now I'll put the link of the site uh, in the description box below so you can listen for yourselves, man. This is just... This is on a whole nother level of wickedness, y'all. All right, let's continue. Now, I would recommend all of you uh, look at purchasing or reading Project Soul Catcher. It's by Robert Duncan. Understand that he discussed the secrets of cyber and cybernetic warfare. He revealed the cybernetic mind control by the CIA and their use of psychotronic weapons and their pursuit to weaponize neuropsychology. They have. Hmm. They have. We are all sitting in the face of danger, and really very few are acting, hmm. and that's uh, what is occurring. Let's talk about electromagnetic energy weapons, uh, because certainly we know that um, there's planning to be a serious cyber attack on the United States. Mm -hmm. Probably it's going to hit the electrical grid. That's what we're being told. So a quick uh, can-do for this moment would be have a power outage party. Turn off all your lights for at least three or four days. Get everything you need to survive in a power outage. Think of your weather where you're located. But plan on surviving. You will need to if you want to. Make plans now. Because these man-made disasters of weather weapons being used on us is unlike anything we have ever seen before, and it is going to cascade upon us in the coming period of time. They, they also took a poll that most Americans feel threatened by our governments, and a new Pew Research Center poll found that half of the Americans believe the government threatens their personal rights, you think? Oh. The National Survey marks the first time a majority of Americans have viewed the government as a threat since Pew began tracking public opinion on the subject in 1995. Well, we're the enemy, and the government is aiming directed energy weapons at all of us, spraying us with chemtrails every single day and more, and it's never reported on the media that is the bullhorn of the Illuminati horrific, dangerous, torturous realities we all face. Con, right. So what most people don't know, man, and she's 100% right, is, is, is how weak our electrical grid is here, man, all right, that runs the entire electrical system here in America, all right? It's ran on a weak, very weak, outdated technology, all right? Studies have actually shown that our country's biggest uh, weakness is our electrical grid. Now, our grid is made up of what's called um, a spider web, right? And it's roughly about 160,000 miles of transmission lines, all right? And I want to say roughly about 55,000 or so substations which means it's very extremely vulnerable all right in fact it's ran on a d plus grade infrastructure <laughs> uh meaning it's it's not a matter of if but when this thing will fail all right america is basically a sitting duck man for a terror for a terrorist uh, attacks man all right that will completely destroy our power grid and take out nine of ten americans you know take the lives of them just like that all right so this is what we're heading into, man. This is the darkest hour, man, that is to come, all right, before us, all right? And if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not with you, man, you are through, man, all right? You, you can forget it. 
All right, the men of the Lord have been out here prophesying. We've been blowing the horn, as I say, as I say, man. And there is just no way out of what's getting ready to come. It don't matter where you go. You can't escape this, man. All right? If you've been sealed for judgment, that's what it is, man. And without this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it's a wrap, man. All right? This is why Isaiah 33, 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of thy salvation. For the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right? Meaning with this knowledge, you'll be able to understand what's going on out here, man. All right. You will have a sane mind as these tears befall you all around you. All right. Because this is the time that we're in. Okay. Which brings me to Daniel 8, 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to, to full, a king of fierce countenance shall understand dark sands, shall stand up and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Right. All right. So we see that we are in these latter times right now. All right. And the wicked are in full blossom, man. They are in control and have encompassed the entire earth in wickedness, man. Right. All right. But this is not of their own power. Because, again, like I said, this is judgment all done by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah on the left hand side. OK. And they shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and they shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. All right. The holy people, which are the children of Israel. All right. We are their number one enemy. Understand that. OK. And through his policies, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Now, is that not what he's done? All right, through his craftiness, his political policies, and all his laws, all right, has he not prospered? Going into all these countries, these third world countries, under the banner of peace and aid, all right, only to rob them, you know, take their resources, enslave them as a nation, and lastly, turning on his own people here. Right. To implement global dominance, do dominance over the entire earth, man. All right. And this is the checkmate move for Esau and his new world order. All right. So this is what y'all have to understand. He shall also stand up against the prince of princesses and and he shall be broken without hand. Con. Right. Because we know our savior is coming. Even they know our savior is coming from outer space, man, in chariots, man, with a multitude of his angels. And Esau will attempt to fight Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah with his military eye, space station, and all his super soldiers. Man, they're going to be utterly destroyed. You hear me? In a millisecond, all right? He's going to lose miserably. All right? Now, like I said, her video is about an hour long. All right? So I only use like 15 minutes of it or so. You know, so again, I'll put the description. Um, I'll put the link in the description box, all right? Uh, um, but don't fret, saints, man, you know? Fear not what's to come. Stay on fire in this truth. Gird yourself up in the full body armor of the Lord and endure. All right. We will be tried in this fire, but we will be victorious. All right. And with that, I want to say, call Haloyahawa, Bashimi Hawashah, Bashimi Kakwadash, and a Baba Ball. And it's on to the next.